If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please remember to hit that like button and of course subscribe for more content. And if you need any coins for Ultimate Team to get a head start on the game, head to the link in the description. Use the code TVM for a discount at checkout. What is going on guys, Tivim here. Welcome back to a brand new player review. And I can honestly say that I didn't expect to be able to bring you Cristiano Ronaldo any time before team of the season. I thought I'd have to wait and then we'd have to do some sort of is he still worth it kind of video. We probably will do that, but we can wait a few months before we even try. First up, we are going to talk about the big man himself, Ronaldo. Um, packed him literally day one on the road to glory. Uh, spoiler alert, I guess, but it was two days ago now. So if you haven't seen it now, you probably weren't going to watch it. But feel free to go check my reaction. It still kind of hasn't sunk in yet, so... Uh, yeah, I, I just kept saying, oh my god, I've packed Ronaldo, and I couldn't quite get it into my head that I had done. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot, high attacking work rate, low defensive. I don't really need to talk about his stats, but I'm going to. I'm going to treat him as any other player. We're not going to give him peripheral treatment. Uh, I would be the same with Lionel Messi, by the way. Uh, I'm not a Ronaldo fanboy, I'm not a Messi fanboy. I'm just grateful that I managed to pack someone that influential we're actually doing on the road to glory we're doing a diogo jota road to glory and i decided to do this before they even gave him that once to watch that's just a happy accident i guess but um he links to diogo jota and of course you'll see that in the squad that we use uh but the whole point of the series is to get diogo jota to a thousand games goals and assists in competitive play so we're talking rivals and champs only not using him at all in squad battle so Ronaldo is going to get a lot of game time as if he wouldn't anyway but he will link to the player that we're going to use an awful lot the other side of this of course is he's untradeable so there is no temptation to sell him I won't lie to you I would have sold him not because I don't think he's good enough because it's Ronaldo but uh but you know I'm on, I'm on PC so 1.9 million can't really turn that down, but unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that. I'm not too sad about it. Like I said, he does link in, and he's got 91 sprint speed, 87 acceleration. I would be very interested in boosting that up. Uh, do you know what I'd like to see as well? I know we're never going to get to see it, but I would like to see Iron Robin, Messi and Ronaldo have a race across the length of a football pitch or even half the football pitch just to see how slow I and Robin and Messi are compared to Ronaldo because Robin has got like 70 something pace then it's Messi with mid 80s and now it's Ronaldo with sort of low 90s high 80s I don't think there's going to be that much between them especially I and Robin I think even though he's old and I know he retired and he came back I still think he's got legs I think the, the people who do EA stats just they just guess. They just, ah, oh, well, he's been out for a year. He, he's lost his legs. It, it, you need to, like, look at it from an actual footballing point of view. Uh, the rest of his stats, I mean, he's got it where it counts, basically. Ball control, dribbling, composure in particular is a very important stat this year. So important that you can't boost it with uh, chem styles. So it's EA consider it to be that important. His finishing, shot power, long shots, positioning, all fantastic. The only downside to the card, really, I guess, is uh, the balance. And maybe the passing. I guess his stamina is 84, which is just about good enough. And what I mean by just about good enough is at this stage of the game, it's fantastic because he's up against defenders who don't really have legs anyway. So later on in the game, he'll still be able to beat them. But what I mean is longevity wise, Ronaldo will be able to compete with people all the way up until team of the season and beyond. So players with high 70 stamina right now, absolutely fine. Toward January, not good enough anymore. Ronaldo will be good enough, more or less, to the end of the game, stamina-wise. Uh, the other part of his game, of course, is he has 95 jumping. He's six foot two, which is a... I mean, that in FIFA 20, not great. This in FIFA 21, fantastic. With 95 jumping and 90 heading accuracy as well. You may or may not see evidence, or have already seen evidence of him scoring, because I haven't edited the clips quite yet, but I have played quite a few games with him already um i've played a lot of friendly games as well and obviously that won't count towards the stats you would have seen at the beginning but the reason i'm playing friendlies is a i only have 30 games in rivals to be able to place if you will so i don't want to waste them by just going in with sort of experimental teams i know i have ronaldo but i am testing out a few things here or there also objectives doing a few objectives in friendlies uh, just to knock them off and obviously progress with XP and unlock stadium themes and packs and all the rest of it. So there's going to be an awful lot more friendlies gameplay this year in uh, reviews, which is, I mean, it's kind of good, kind of bad. I guess it's it's not 
because it's going to be that live foot friendly thing. So it's not like it's going to be against people competing in that mode, if you will. So it's not like a kickabout for a laugh. We are still working towards stuff. Um, is he as good as you'd expect him to be? And, you know, is there really any need for a review? We know what Ronaldo's all about, right? I mean, I think this year more than any other, Ronaldo is going to be one of those cards that everyone needs to work towards. He's always going to have that massive price. I mean, he, he does in every FIFA, but this year he actually fits the game perfectly because of that jumping because of that heading the height he doesn't have great strength on paper but in game he just he has ronaldo strength you know like whatever it is he's just ronaldo people bounce off him uh he's not completely invincible he does miss the odd chance a um, couple of chances i've had one-on-ones actually and i've tried to finesse the keeper and it's hit the post gone wide or whatever so he's not like he's gonna it's not like he's gonna score every single shot he has he will miss he is human believe it or not uh, but Zlatan isn't, but Ronaldo is. But um, he is, he's almost perfect and he fits the game so well. Uh, in terms of traits, I mean, get a pen and paper really. Uh, set play specialist, power free kick, flair, outside of the foot shot. I don't think it really matters too much this year at the moment. Uh, well, set it doesn't matter. We haven't noticed it with regards to weak foot, outside the foot shot and all that stuff. Last year, very important. This year, at the moment, at least not so much. The one thing I don't really understand with his free kicks, actually, is because EA have given him 76 free kicks, and then they've given him the set play specialist trait. How are you going to give someone a set play specialist trait, which means he's very good at free kicks, and then give him 76 free kicks? Have you seen Ronaldo take a free kick? I'm sorry, EA have got that completely wrong, amongst other things, but you know what I mean. That needs to be higher. Uh, all in all, I, I mean, there's there's absolutely nothing really wrong with him at all. He is the card that I think everyone would love to pack, tradable, untradable, whatever it may be. I'm very, very lucky to have got him again this year. Didn't get him last year. Got him three times the year before, believe it or not. Hopefully, this account that I'm on is uh, is blessed with insane Ronaldo pack luck, and we can pack him again a couple of a couple of times tradable. That would be sexy. I'm not holding my breath though. In terms of chem styles, I mean. His dribbling and ball control is that good. You may even want to consider a catalyst because it it, it gives him uh, a, a sort of passing boost, crossing boost, which is really important as well if you decide to play him on the wings. The one thing that I really like doing with Ronaldo is actually playing a 4-3-3, having him on the right, and then either crossing toward him, so using someone like Bale, Angel, Di Maria, wherever it may be, on the left, natural left footer, in swinger, and then, or rather out swinger, I guess. And of course, Ronaldo on the end of it, get in the box for the cross, bang, power head, a back post, or have him on the other side crossing the ball. And with the catalyst, he's going to have that 97 acceleration, 97, 99 sprint speed, and he's going to have that 99 crossing. He is a dream to use. He's a pleasure. He wins 50-50s. He has that Ronaldo luck. He's almost like an icon in that sense. I mean, were you expecting anything different from this review? I'm not sure. He is fantastic. I'm a big fan of him, and you're going to see an awful lot more of him on the channel with regards to the Road to Glory, and he'll pop up in other people's reviews as well. Let me know what you think of the card in the comment section down below. If I can get my hands on a Messi, I will review him and probably give him the same accolades as Ronaldo has. But uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, of course, and until the next time, goodbye. Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth. 